hope your front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time, and nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Um, and it's called Self Fulfilling Prophecy. <clears throat> it is in the Reddit Rookie League. Um, we're playing against the Licht that Lies Undead. Uh, which is, of course, pretty much the strongest starting team you can get. Yeah. Alright. Typing is hard. Okay, uh, let's start receiving. See if we can throw some punches. Yeah, yeah, it's quite a nice one. I like it too. The undead's uh, armor color. So, um, Necro are not a really good starting roster. They they really need some skill ups to be good, especially uh, getting uh, getting good rolls on um, <clears throat> good rolls on the wolves is very helpful. Right, so no easy law hits here. It has to do a lot of work. Uh, quite possibly. Well, this is not my my uh, my teaching game for <laughs> against um against my pupil. But oh oh, crash, huh? Well, that's interesting. Uh, let's get this game back up then. Hello, Steam. Yes. <coughs> this is, uh, this is new. Yeah, so my, uh, my league, um, uh, I'm allowed to play five spin games with this, um, with this team. Um, and, uh, during those five spin games, I'm, uh, I'm able to, um, skill up some players and then I'm allowed to, um, actually sell those players to my pupil, Manusatra, who's also playing, <clears throat> uh, who's also playing Necro, of course. Uh, would you like to reconnect? Yes, will, yes. Good. Absolutely. Uh, the other guy did not just get a free win because you're able to reconnect to um, <clears throat> crashed games these days, which is good. So we'll just keep going as if nothing happened. Right, where were we? Um, I guess I could blitz him with a uh, flesh golem. That's not too bad. Um, so... Am I willing to make a ball punch there then? Yeah, sure. Am I willing to make a foul? Kinda. It's very front loaded this though. But then I don't have any ghouls to hang back with. I want to punch this, that, and that. Yeah. This is gonna be it. Um, more questions. Would you keep a agility blodge tackle sidestep wolf who got minus movement? Mm. I'd consider it, I suppose. Minus movement isn't the worst. Then again, for for the agility roll, movement is kind of important too. 
Mm, if we're gonna blitz there, then I want this gone here. This one there. And then I guess this isn't that either. Getting closer to where we need to be later on. Alright. Alright, enough of this quick snapping. Let's get our players in the right direction. Should have moved this guy. Maybe it didn't. No, I did. Now, let's see. First off. Good. Okay. Decent start. Decent, decent start. And this one. Yes. And then it might need to be here, just to cover this side of things. Also nice. Um, <clears throat> I think, uh, I think having a single... Having a single frenzy is very, very helpful. Yeah, your first white gets um, Mighty Blow and Tackle. Your second white can get Mighty Blow and Frenzy, something like that. Going in there would expose me a little bit. I think I only want to do that if I know that the ball is secure. So we're going to try this pickup first. Yeah, that helps. Hmm... And then down here is kind of okay. Because then we can... Cover this side pretty well. And then we might as well also cover up where this wolf is now kind of exposed. And let's this mummy. Yep, nice. There. And I don't need to follow that, of course. Do I want to move some more? No, I think I'm alright where I am, really. Yeah, I think uh, I think Mighty Blow Tackle for the first white, a Mighty Blow Frenzy for the second white, and then uh, then maybe some Guard. Stand Firm for the Frenzy isn't bad, of course. Puns are not bannable in this chat. Nope. Puns are very much allowed. <clears throat> much to uh, Monkey G's chagrin because he would really like to be able to, uh, to ban them, but I was unwilling to. So normally I aim to foul a fair bit with Necro, but this early on in development, when you don't have any bench uh, or a dirty player, it's not nearly as worthwhile. And... Uh, Against against undead, we we'll have uh, regen anyway. <clears throat> hey, Grindel, long time no see. Yeah, so undead are a really really good starting race, but they have less um, <clears throat> long term prospects, whereas necro are um, kind of a slower to get going team. Who do have um, who do have some really good potential, right? The general axis on the flesh golems is huge, but to start with, strength five and mighty blow on the mummies is much better. And the wolves have claw, but really need uh, good rolls to make optimal use of that. OK, 
Okay. This is nice. I like this. This makes me pretty happy. You get up. The werewolves need doubles or stats. Stats are fine on them, really. But they do need something. Let's see if we do this. Here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Need a GFI then. You take this corner, you go up there. Right, let's see if we can do this then. Oh, that's good. That's helpful. So yeah, you don't have that many rerolls, and initially they're... <clears throat> so you don't have that many rerolls re initially, and they're also re very, very expensive. Well done. Which means going here is already... something. I think I'll just stick with this spot for now. At least I don't get uh, counter surfed for that. I like this place well enough, I think. Let's do this two die first and then we can do the one die then. Here's okay, no need to follow that, I think. Three, four, five. Yeah, let's follow that. Oh, wow. Lucky, lucky stuff. And no regen. So that's, uh, that's going pretty well. And the one die goes really, really well too. Mm, nope, I'd rather keep him just on this guy. So, Zacharel, my flesh golem here, is doing a good job. Just standing there. <laughs> nice Dioga, I like that. Yeah, so the reason I actually brought in the Black Seed here, I made this follow-up, is so that um, this white wouldn't get um, two dice without doing something else first. Okay, KOs are fine. So since this is a spin game, and since my my goal is to develop players more than uh, to win per se, stalling isn't really all that attractive. Normally I, I try and stall whenever I can, pretty much. But for, uh, for this specific kind of uh, <clears throat> type of match, I think scoring early is actually quite all right. Nope, I'm fine where I am, thank you. I will stay there and keep you busy. Um, I 
Right, so we can block here. Hmm. The only one who could surf here would be this guy, and I need someone there. Not sure I want to do that. <clears throat> it's possible, though. Yeah, it's actually not a bad play. Let's try that. Where I am is fine. So... We'd have to keep this guy busy. Hmm. So I'd need a guy down here. And I'd need to assist that, which mean, would mean a GFI there. It's scary-ish. Uh, having second thoughts. Let's let's just not do that right now. Which means here's kind of okay. So I am making a sideline cage. It's not strictly necessary here. He'd have to roll 6 plus dodge to get to me, but that, of course, does occasionally happen. Let's make sure he needs to roll some more for, <clears throat> to get that going. Yeah, I was looking at a more complex surf. Uh, knockdown would have been nice, but we'll have to settle for this now. Three, four, no. Nope. Yeah, then. Yeah, six plus dodges are are <coughs> surprisingly well. Um, they succeed more often than I'd like. Let's just leave it at that. But in this case, you'd have to make uh, a three plus dodge and a six plus dodge and a half die. No. Exactly, 16%, but yeah, that's, you know, uh, 6 plus sounds like a lot, but 16%? Ah, we... <clears throat> well, I mean... So he decided to to get his mummy next to me when the ball when the, the the active part of the game was happening around here, right? He could have moved that mummy in and just kept one one zombie on the flesh golem. Could have actually made it a one die too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks, uh, Manasatra. But you know, I I do take my my responsibilities uh, in this league fairly seriously. I think uh, I think it's it's great that a league exists which has the goal to teach uh, <clears throat> newer coaches the game. And I very much do think it's uh, <clears throat> it's something to be encouraged. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so we have something to blitz, that's good. <clears throat> yeah, normally I'd be looking at uh, an attempt at stalling here. But in this case, I will just go for... Punch on him. If this is merely a push, that is unfortunate. Should have really put someone here so that on a push this would work. But I didn't. So then I might have to pull back. Nope, that's right. I am going to run this in. But if I somehow fail, like quad skulls there, then I do want to be. Front here a little bit, I think. Yeah, probably here's best. And do I get a two die without moving? Nope. So then, this is the play. Yep, that's good enough. So, one guy out. Oh, both KOs come back. That's a pity. Let's see. Golems are not going on the line. I really don't want to get my wolves blitzed, do I? Don't mind getting these guys blitzed nearly as much. So let's go with that then. Now, <clears throat> pl placing the golems on the outside like this uh, makes it. Oh, yeah, let's not leave that gap if we don't have to. So we can either bring this closer or. Yeah, I prefer this still. Um. Oh, I have a KO. Missed that. Uh, yeah, that changes things considerably, actually, for this setup. Huh. So, um, yeah, the Master Apprentice is a um, <clears throat> a league within um, the Reddit Rookie League, where uh, coaches take on an apprentice whom they uh, try and teach a specific race. So, usually the apprentice are fairly new coaches. And uh, the people who teach them are slightly less so. Well, yeah, no, let's just go rule 5 then. I really don't like the um, <clears throat> the outer setup if I'm lacking a player. Yeah, changes of mind happen. Uh, I don't mind them spread out. Yeah, I didn't realize that but, um, not only did he get both KOs back, but mine failed. So, <clears throat> The, uh, the Reddit Rookie League is a league where um, <clears throat> people, anyone, any, anyone is welcome to join, um, but the goal of the league is for new coaches to learn the game from more experienced coaches. And the level of noobishness is really up to yourself. Hello there, gone and on. So I guess anyone who uh, who wants to um, wants to get better at the game, learn from um, <clears throat> learn from people who've played this game for a long time. 
just uh, go and have a look. You can play random spin games, but they also have um, quite a bunch of, uh, of scheduled league uh, stuff going. And uh, they have a re really active Discord channel where people ask lots of uh, advice questions and stuff like that. So it's a it's a, it's a worthwhile resource. I've I've had lots of fun just chatting there in Discord. While this is the first time I actually play a game there. And so uh, <clears throat> Manusatra, uh, oh, I missed it. Actually contacted me to. Uh, to hire me as his uh, as his mentor, as his master in the Master Apprentice League, and uh, as part of that uh, part of that league, I get to try and develop this team in five spin games within two weeks' time, if I'm not mistaken, to um, <clears throat> to try and develop not just my team but also players that I'm able to sell to his team. Um, while we do this, and uh, after each match, I'll also be doing a post-match um, replay analysis of his games to try and help him out and uh, tell him which parts he did well and which parts he could have handled differently and stuff like that. Um, I'm I'm not sure, Alter Ego. It depends on your goals for the most part. I mean, if you if you think qualifying is the main goal then i'd look and see how uh <clears throat> how well the higher uh ooh, that sucks how well the the top work teams are doing yeah covering the ball before doing a two die with a no block is probably worthwhile for instance, I've moved this guy back there before trying this pickup because this pickup fails on a one and three. And, you know, that spot could have been filled by this goal as well. No easy way to get myself insinuated into his cage right now. Everything I can do easily is also frenzy trapped. But I think moving my golems around the outside here is decent enough. Now, ideally, I'd get two dice on this guy with Claw. But I think I'll settle for just a two die this way. Leave the puppies alone for now. Hmm, I kind of like this spot for the Tomb Guardian, actually. Oh, wow. Wow. Lucky start. And another regen fail. Ouch. What was the white's name, I must ask now? Long Gone Silver, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, do I want to give him some backup? Here's actually kind of good, I think. And then... Here. And there, I suppose. Yeah, getting this outnumbered very quickly is uh, 
definitely, definitely harsh. <clears throat> Even if, um, Even if he manages not to lose this drive, he's still down two players for second half. Then again, if he manages to score 1-1, one, one, then suddenly uh, he's in a really good spot. But, <clears throat> you know, only two ghouls who can't really go and solo things. Yeah, see, this this is what I think you should be doing with those uh, with those flesh golems, right? You, uh, you put a zombie on one of them, and then you send the rest of your team the other way. And now, if I want to blitz, I have to blitz that guy in order to get these in, which is uh, which is not bad per se. Nice, uh, Manasatra. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Hmm, is he thinking of this wolf or something? Because this guy is quite close. Okay, so we're not blitzing him free. But I'm quite okay with uh, focusing on this for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this over there. Yeah, let's take that push. Thank you. And the goal is gone. Now, ideally, I'd get to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I want to get two dice on this guy, then I kind of need this GFI. And I do really want to get two dice on that guy. Now, I want to make sure this situation is secure. All right, so bring him here. Oh, here. Bring him there. This is still quite a, kind of alright, right? If he wants to switch sides, then I've got this puppy able to act on that. Okay, this is kind of unfortunate. Because I leave the mummy next to my uh, wolf. But then again, if he decides to block that, then he's not removing my tomb guardian. So. Downsides, upsides. No, you can be here for now. That's okay. <clears throat> Come on, Manasatra, live! Yep, he lives. Alright. So we've got a flesh golem standing next to the ball carrier. Yeah, now it's a long walk because this guy is on his face.
<laughs> yeah, I'm not making two GFIs and some other bullshit to surf a zombie, that's for sure. For, um... For a mummy? Or the ball carrier? I might make an exception. Yeah, yeah, I figured that would be, uh, that would be fun. <clears throat> that was, uh, that was definitely very deliberate. Also, neither of them have the, uh, the head wrap thing as you, uh, requested. Uh... Ah, I don't mind standing here. Costs him a square of movement, I guess. I don't think we're going to score a second time. Don't quite have the advantage for that. And we don't really need it either. I mean, if he if he <clears throat> can be encouraged to make a mistake. Well, we have three rerolls. When did that happen? Uh, well, I guess a kickoff. Didn't really take that into account in my uh, decisions to reroll or not. Okay, not certain that. He's not doing anything good getting up. Right, let's see. We block here. We can get a block in there. What are we blitz? Blitz. I guess we can do a one die on the carrier. That's not bad. However, I need to bear in mind what happens. Let's see. I want to get in here. Hello there, Jellor. Thanks for the follow. So, I can get a one die on the ball, but I need to really think about what would happen if I were to fail that, right? I could do it with two GFIs, I could do it with a dodge, but I want to make sure that I have the situation under control if it fails. So, I'm going to start off with this block. If it succeeds, can we get pressure on there? This is my turn 7, right? It might not even really be worth it, to be honest. Then again, he's got only the one goal. Well done. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. If this uh, isn't a turnover, yeah, then I'm, uh, then I'm okay with that. So, two GFI, one die. Here we go. Mm, yeah, let's reel that into a push. Well, it's roughly the same, isn't it? Uh, next to the sure, <clears throat> next to the stand firm. Okay. This half die is not worth it. Now he could potato. That should have been somewhere else, really. Two, four, six. If this were in a um, different kind of environment, I would probably not be playing this loosely. I would be securing the defense here and uh, focusing on that. But I kind of, I kind of like the idea of getting as many star player points out of these as possible. All right, Odysseus. Well, um, thanks for uh, for following uh, 
<laughs> better late than never. And uh, I, I, uh, <clears throat> I'd rather have you watch and not follow than follow and not watch. So it's all good. Well, I mean, the <clears throat> everything comes down to what are your goals with this game, right? And in this case, my my goal is to develop my team as much as possible, or rather, my players for Manasatra, rather than uh, rather than win all five of my spin games. Yeah, that makes sense. When I when I saw that I left this guy alone, I realized that I should have put him one or two squares back rather than where he is now. Because if he's gonna potato out there, then I need all the guys I can get to uh, try and stop him from doing so. <laughs> That's okay, Odysseus. <laughs> So I could opt to GFI here. Right now what I see is wait. Two uh two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. He's gonna need one more GFI. Yeah, the werewolf can score. That's what he's there for. But if he doesn't GFI here, then... Uh... Yeah, the second one is okay. I could surf that, of course, but this is... Uh... That's more dice than I care to roll. Hello there, Refusorio. Yeah, making the two GFIs was the right call. Um, but I would have gone here rather than there, because if the ball bounces out, the chance of me scoring increases. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in order to come from this side, I'll have to leave that square free. It's not a very likely score, right? Normally I would be much more focused on my defense. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah, that's good. Come on, pows. Nope. All right. So now the mission is to stay. <laughs> um. We can free up this wolf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not enough to get there. It might be better to get a tackle zone. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I was going to say it might be better to get... Oh, no! No, defaulted user! Aww. Aww. This is my Apprentice League team. Yes. I was going to free up uh, El Bucho to get on Black Bile here. And now I'm not. <clears throat> well. All the glory for uh, my Manasatra Wolf, then. And suddenly he's got a one die blitz, I guess. Can you make that two? Can two, three, four, five, six. Two GFIs. This is a knockdown. Two GFIs lets him. Two die blitz there. 
And then all he needs is two, four, six, seven. <clears throat> two more. Oh wow, that was the wrong square to push him into. But he got the removal, so it doesn't matter. If he'd been just prone there, then he'd be in the way. <coughs> yes, it is, uh, Kasabulu. This is my, um, Master Apprentice Master Team. And it's going to be very lean in team value because next game I will have only one wolf. I'm not sure whether to actually bother getting ghouls. He makes the one die instead of the two GFI thing. Any tips for a new player on multiplayer? Well, actually, the league that I'm now playing in, which is the first time I'm playing there, is the Rookie League, which is uh, which is quite worthwhile for uh, <clears throat> for new coaches because there's uh, there's lots of people who actually teach the game there. Um. So I, I'd recommend joining that, and uh, you can ask uh, lots of questions in their, their Discord channel. I'm sure someone in chat can, uh, can give you the link. I think he had to follow to get the... I think he needed all the movement. Yeah. All right. First half went well-ish, except now he's lost a white and I've lost a wolf. <clears throat> Defensive logic remains largely the same. Mm. Yeah, I don't really need a zombie out here, of course. I guess we can go like this then, maybe. I don't think he'll want to blitz that white. He'd get him stuck in... <coughs> Sorry. He's stuck in the center way too much. <clears throat> wow, sorry about that. <clears throat> So, um, outnumber him by one player. <clears throat> nice uh, victim of the script. Happy to hear it. Yeah, I would. <clears throat> uh, Euro European uh, time zones are fine. Um, it's called the R E B B R L. Uh, so it's part technically part of the Reddit Global League, and then it's the Rookie League um, division there. And I guess Purple Saber is going to type the link in just a second. Or copy it from somewhere. <clears throat> but yeah, if... Um, I mean, Blood Bowl is a game with a very long learning curve. People uh, people play there for, um, <clears throat> for ages and keep learning about the game. I've played three and a half thousand games. Uh, I keep saying that at some point it's going to be <laughs> a tad more, I guess. Oh, Riot is uh, actually kind of good. Um, and I still catch myself learning, or more often just making mistakes that I shouldn't. So yeah, it's... Um... Short to the basics, long to the finesse. That is a good description, Arushius. <clears throat> Which is also why a lot of people think it's really simple, right? Because they get the basics and then they think, okay, everything else is just luck. 
but that is really well i mean there's a, a sense of truth in there but there's um there's a lot more along the way no lost the guy crooked tree is setting this one out so now the numbers are even again So if you're playing with uh, with an undead team, then it's often quite worthwhile to make your line of skirmish blocks with the mummy's three dice. In this, in this case, you actually had an assist on them, so you only need one more. All right, that's a, that's a good point, uh, Rafa Soiro. Um, <clears throat> I would recommend choosing between orcs on the one hand for a bashy play, or dark elves on the other hand for more agile gameplay. Those are the those are the um, <clears throat> the two options that I would recommend for a new coach. All right, so no really good options here right now. Do I mind going here? Not really. Let's not get too friendly with the mummies yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So then here, there. I'd like to keep this guy non-committed for now. Um, well, I have a, a couple of a uh, couple of teaching games, but for uh, tutorials, I would recommend uh, Knorr's uh, Blobble Two tutorial. I think that's a really, really good starting point for for new coaches. And then when you have the uh, the basic skills down, um, I think my uh, my teaching game playlist is probably the best next uh, spot to look at. But yes, uh, you can have a look on uh, my YouTube channel. That's here. And uh, if you um, if you say, okay, well, I I'm, I know that I'm going to be playing orcs, then you can look at the orc playlist. <clears throat> um, personally, I'm more of an agility coach. I tend to uh, play the agility four races quite a bit, uh, and even when I play the the bashy races, I I have more of an agility ish play style with them. I think so. Um, if you'd like to learn from from how I've coached uh, a lot, then you're probably better off watching my uh, Dark Elf playlists. There's quite a few on that uh, YouTube page because you know, I've played this game for ages. Um, and I guess the, the World Cup runs are probably a good one to watch because they start off on a rookie team and you see it develop and played across different range of team values. So that's probably the one that I would recommend watching most if you're really new to the game and you want to learn something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doing the best I can. It's, uh... I probably screw a couple of them up sometimes, though. It's bound to happen. Right, so we can get this Flesh Golem. See, this is why I wanted my Flesh Golem non-committed. If he'd been up front, then he'd be stuck wherever he stands up. But now he can get in here and make uh, make progress difficult for my opponent. Here we can get a 2-die, 2-die, but they're both kind of stuck. I think this would be a great time to keep this mummy in check. Which we do by wandering over here. I need to really think about what to blitz, though. I might actually blitz with this guy. Yeah, I kind of like that. You're here. You're here, then. We get you up. 
keep you busy. Two, three, four, five, but we GFI. But this is kind of an okay place to be. See, in this case, uh, it's really not so much about who you hit, but about where, what kind of control you can manage over, over where everyone is, right? So, um, this guy, I would like to keep where he is, which is why I have this zombie here. And rather than blitzing someone around the center, what I aim to do is knock this guy over. Uh, that's not good. Is that worth a reroll? I think it is. Oh, brilliant! Haha, <laughs> that was dumb. So what I was gonna say, if I knocked this guy over, I could then use this guy to blitz with. Then they'd both be stuck on this guy, and I'd have my white free to get closer to the action and become relevant again. Except that was rather a shitty reroll. <clears throat> so I was hoping to actually get another guy on here. Instead, I'm down two flesh golems for the duration. Uh, that's not great. Yeah, I think wood elves are easier to play as. Um, I mean, wood elves will probably give a new coach better results, right? You understand how to leap into a cage, and it's going to work a lot of the time. But it's not going to teach you very good blood ball, and that's, I think, the main reason to... Um, <clears throat> the main reason to do this. You want to understand when to block and when not to. You want to understand how to position. Um, and I think Dark Elves teach you a lot about that, which um, which what else don't. To be honest, if you're, if you're good and you're in a position where you can, then you should block with Elves, right? As long as you've got the, the kind of situation where you can afford to take to to um, make your blocks, get your punches in, and not get punished for it, you should you should do that as much as possible. And um, dark elves lend themselves to that kind of playstyle where you block if you can and you dodge if you have to, <clears throat> provided your positioning allows it, of course. So if you if you if you know you want to be a bash coach, then orcs would be the way to go. But personally, I prefer dark elves as a uh, as a rookie race. But then, yeah, I might I may be somewhat biased. I mean, if it, if it, if it was just the dodge aspect of wood elves, you know, the fact that they tend to go dodge first and stuff like that, that I would be kind of okay with that. But what you do with uh, with woodies is um, you get strip ball, you leap into the cage every turn, and you wind up winning a lot of your games and thinking you understand what blood ball is about. I think the logic of where I wanted blitz hasn't really changed. Mm. So since my position here has weakened, I want to get as much of a screen going as I can. Which is going to require this guy. And even then, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, um, <clears throat> Kislev are, well, Slan, I should say, are the, the team that they're supposed to be. Um, are a very, very fun and interesting race. Absolutely. I don't think they're hybrid bash, but they are very, very different. Kind of like vampires. They... Um, they are really good at sacking, and knowing when not to leap is also... Wow. Lucky one die. Go zombie. And another regen fail. So yeah, I got this guy free, which is good. Um, I have this side locked down, but he can maneuver through here. But that's okay, because then we have uh, players near. And at least next turn we'll get Butcher back. Yeah, no, Slon are not are not for new coaches. That is um, definitely true. 
they're they're fun and interesting and different, but they they're so different that they won't teach you much about level. And in fact, they'll they'll uh, you won't play them well either, right? So no, wouldn't recommend that either. Sorry if I gave the impression that I did. Okay. He decides to blitz this corner, which means he's probably relatively staying where he is. That's kind of good news for me, because this is where my flesh golem is. If he moves down the center, my flesh golem is not going to be relevant in the next two or three turns. And now he will be. Oh, he moves up. Well, my only wolf is already here. Well, the little it lies is not uh, is not a uh, a random noob. He plays uh, he plays a fair bit, I think. Ah, yeah, I can understand that uh, random. <clears throat> it is something that that I do so automatically that sometimes I forget how hard things can be. But um, it is it is understandable. So I do have an option for a half die surf on this guy. Oh wow. In fact I have a half die half die right now and I can make the first one a one die two and I don't even need to use my blitz for it because of where this zombie is right. Normally, I would be looking at a blitz, push him in there, and then surf. But now, I can stand this up. I can use my blitz somewhere else. Somewhere useful-ish. Surfing that guy? Yeah, not really. Let's go here, and then here. Can I make this a one die? Not really, because it has to free him up, which I'm not doing. That's okay. We can at least bring him closer in. Trying to make sure that I get as many people free next turn as I can. So half die, half die is not exactly great odds, of course. So let's not go and assume that it works. If it does work, am I setting myself up for a counter surf? I am a bit, aren't I? So let's go here instead. Let's make that not doable. Definitely want this to die first. Oh, that could have been the half die. So sad. All right, here it goes. Oh, well done. That's that's awesome. First half die. Ah, oh, yeah, let's reel that. No, oh, wow. If I started off with this, it would have been all good. That's so sad. Yeah, the surf was definitely uh, part of the plan. <clears throat> he could get two dice with the zombie now, which is kind of good, because that would let him free the mummy, but nope. Nice. Hello there, victim of the script. Yeah, this was the right order of doing things. It's just that in this case, it happened to work out the other way around. So now I guess if this block had worked, he would have quite a decent advance with the ball. Now it doesn't look nearly as good for him. 
Because now he's looking at two players that can move out here. He could blitz with the mummy, I suppose. That would be kind of okay. Uh, yeah, I'll stand for him. Thanks. So then the mummy's here. I don't have a reroll, which is which is a big deal now. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I deliberately placed these guys so that after the blocks they would still be free to move around. Oh, he regens, I think. Yeah, what is dead? What is dead may never die! May never die. So then I guess these guys go and hide out here somewhere. Right. <clears throat> this this corner does give him some measure of protection though. Five, six. Why doesn't he cover this from here, though? That's what I'm thinking. Right, so I'm stuck doing a one die with block. Yeah, that makes more sense. Three, four, five, six, seven. So now I need two GFIs to get there. Uh, he's got a reroll. Can't afford to do that. Oh wow, that was big. I guess four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could do I could do a surf. I mean Oh, it's only one GFI for a one die though. And it would be <clears throat> 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus to even get the one die for the surf. So I guess the, the simple one die is better. So, one GFI for a one die. Not exactly the safest with no rerolls. Ah, oh, too bad. Could try and free this up with a half die. The problem is a push actually gets me more stuck. Let's not do that. Let's roll this three plus instead. There we go. If he gets a push on me, I'm stuck again. I'm still keeping him marked. Which means that it's okay to stay where I am. Yeah. They're only moving three, though. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't really get in his way. I don't think I don't think dodging or blocking here is really worth it. If I dodge, I'd have to make another four plus yeah, that's just not happening. And if I block I'm looking at a half die, which would free him up. Nope. I think we're just gonna have to rely on him failing one and nine now. Which is not exactly ideal. I don't think he's going to be looking to stall here. I think he'll just score. And the chances of me scoring with only one wolf and two turns are pretty, pretty slim.
Yeah, no reroll is definitely a big factor here. Oh, he doesn't want a 9, and he does run it in. All right. <clears throat> yeah, but blitzing with the mummy required a knockdown with the other mummy. That's why I was staying there. I guess we can use one white as a uh, desperate passing play guy. Or we use two whites as receivers. Oh, it's not too unlikely, no, but <clears throat> if I uh, if I dodge out then the, uh, he's definitely free. Thanks. See you, Saber. Good luck with the hand. I guess the, the relative region advantage helps a bit. So keep the wolf out back. Yeah, I guess I probably, chances are I'll need the movement more for recovering the ball than for scoring because here I know I need one GFI to get in touchdown range but here I might very well save myself a lot of dice by going uh, by having more movements all right uh, I don't care about these guys I want to make sure that uh, these ones are as occupied as possible So we mark the mummies, and then we flesh golem blitz the white. We send one white out to six squares, and one white we make the GFI to seven squares. Hmm. Yeah, we're. What am I going to do with these guys? I'm not blocking that. It's just too irrelevant, really. Yeah, we're going to try this. Well, this could be good or bad, I guess. Uh, at least the uh, extra move saves me the GFI that I would have to make. It saves me two or three GFIs, really. These guys can do their marking just fine. This guy can do his blitz just fine. Do we want another one in there? A touchback would would help a lot, yeah. Suppose I did roll a touchback, where would I go though? Would I keep it on the wolf or would I send it to a white? And does that change what I need to do? It does a bit, doesn't it? I want to reconnect based on that I can mm. 
All right. Oh, it is a touchback. Oh, oh, wait, the timer wasn't nearly done, was it? I guess I give it to the wolf then. All right, that was interesting. Um, you play with him. You go here. Two, four, six, yes. You are there. Two, four, six, yes. Now let's see, how far can the ghouls get? And am I willing to worry about that? Two, four, six, eight. Uh, let's say we go here then. Yes, and then we go. Here. Here. <clears throat> now, if this is a knockdown, we're actually looking kind of okay here, right? Yeah, a house. Hey there, Monk G. So, yeah. This, uh, this has, uh, some odds of success, I suppose. Yeah, so he makes the push here so that he can tag that guy, and then he wants to get next to here. That's not a bad play. This is this is not a bad play. Because I don't really have the strength to remove him. Whereas if he marks with the ghoul, I've got the strength to remove that, eventually. They're just far enough apart that I can't use this guy there, which is a pity. So I might have to rely on a 4 plus, 3 plus then, rather than on a simple 3 plus. Unless he 1 and 9s this, of course, that would be kind of helpful. <sighs> okay. Okay. Knock down here would be good enough. Yes. Nice. One in three of the game, then. Let's see it. Oh, I don't see a blue screen. Nice. Happy to hear it. Uh, oh, and this is the guy who was already on two star player points. Well, I'm 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 pseudo involved. <clears throat> I, uh, I I talk to a lot of people there, and uh, somehow I've gotten the moderator tag. But this is actually the first time I played there. But yeah, I do um, I do think I might be able to help people out around a little bit. Okay, yeah, <clears throat> not a bad first game, MG Wolf. But you know, um, two touchdowns, quite a bit of cast as well. Decent winnings is helpful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Manusatra got the MVP. This is awesome. Uh, let's see what he rolled. Let's see what he rolled. Ah, oh, normal. Just a normal roll. Yeah, yeah. The Blubble community is definitely a very, very nice place. <clears throat> so, welcome to it, Victim of the Script. I hope you'll have a great time here.
Um, yeah, so this is just going to be block, of course. Everyone, I'm going to conclude the stream because it's 2.30 a.m. where I'm at. I would like to thank you all very much for watching. If you're uh, new to the stream, remember to hit uh, follow and set notifications to on so that you actually get alerted when I go online and stuff. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about Blubble 2 and stuff, then do check out, check out the YouTube channel. And um, yeah, there's other ways to get notified for stuff as well, like um, you know, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. I'm from Amsterdam, victim of the script. Yes. All right. Um, thanks, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow evening, in fact. So see you all soon. Bye, guys. All right, YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.